They're doing three test experiences at Glance, Arch Linux, Nobara, and Pop. I bet Nobara comes out ahead on this just from a numbers perspective. Uh, Arch is pretty bleeding edge, though. Nobara, glorious egg roll, old Thomas. Uh, he's amazing. Love him. I don't like it's done on Fedora, but, you know, such is life. Old Pop OS. I'm still waiting for them to redo everything. It being based on GNOME and Ubuntu kind of makes me like, ugh, pointless, <laughs> I think is what I called it. <laughs> um, I But I, I am rooting for Pop. I always like Pop. Yeah, you know, it's more of a tongue-in-cheek thing from my tier list thing. But Pop OS is always a solid distro. It just is kind of long in the tooth with GNOME and it being based on Ubuntu. I'd like them to see them rebase it with Debian and then come out with their new tool set instead of using GTK and GNOME. And once that happens, I'm definitely going to take a look at it again. But I imagine it'll finish towards the bottom of the list of all the Linux benchmarks and then Windows 11. So let's see the test results. Uh, let's convert that. Uh, yep. And let's see what we got. Nabara, FPS 100, Arch Linux 99, Pop OS 95, Windows 94, uh, Cyberpunk, uh, Windows at 82, Pop at the bottom, of course, uh, Nabara at the top for that one. 1% 1 lows are a little bit lower on Nabara, so very interesting there. Forspoken, Windows 11 towards the bottom. Arch, yeah, that sounds about right. That looks right. Ratchet and Clank, obviously. That one's uh, Windows at the top for both the lows and the averages. Starfield. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, it's such a such a badly optimized game. It's like this crisis of today. And then Talus Principle. The 1% lows here are interesting where, where Windows 11 is winning, so you don't have nearly as much frame drops. Uh, so very, very close. The fact this is even close is amazing to me. But this is not that surprising that Linux is getting better. And this is probably giving a more of a fair shake to Windows than it deserves. When you look at it, uh, Windows users will not be using a fresh stock install like these benchmark systems. When you're benchmarking Windows, typically it's on a fresh install. No bloat, no average usage, no cookies, none of that. Uh, feature updates gone through two or three feature updates like most users. Most Windows scores will be substantially lower than this. So this is the best case scenario for Windows users. They don't even realize how far Windows has fallen. And if you're actually doing an apples to apples comparison, like of an average user, I would love to see a Steam Deck user do a bench, you know, equivalent hardware benchmark to benchmark from a, like a two year old Windows system that hasn't really seen a lot of deep loading or even much touching and just average usage these performance benchmarks would be much more drastic uh obviously windows community would cry foul with that type of benchmarking but i guarantee you these numbers are much worse than windows users even think and uh yeah <laughs> uh very interesting i love it but overall, I do think Linux will win in the end when it comes to Linux first Windows in the gaming sphere, but it's not today. Today, yes, it does beat it in several titles. It's more about the titles that just refuse to have Linux compatibility, and that's really on the publishers. Once the publishers come along, I think it'll be a, a completely game-changing thing, especially with the Steam Deck, and why I bring that up so much is because the Steam Deck brings Linux to the everyday person and shows the everyday person, hey, here you go. Here's something that can't really ever change. And it, you'll always play the games it plays exactly the same without anything changing. It's the console experience for PC. And that's the beauty of Linux gaming, the console experience for the PC where you don't have to worry about a whole bunch of driver updates and just crap changing and just wait because we haven't even seen it in the desktop realm we haven't even seen a system with any kind of power in uh have this get the steam deck experience when that happens it'll be completely game-changing